Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode nine Absolutely. of the ladies. Episode nine of so the nine. ladies what pod. We're going slightly earlier with our recording this week because we want to celebrate so the third greatest comeback in the Premiership of all time. Wow, 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 wow. wow. How are you doing, Mrs Saunders? Have you recovered yet? Uh, Where's the just, machine? Just about, it's, 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 it's here. It's, it is here, there. <laughs> I dare, there's batteries need changing yet. I dare to go anywhere <laughs> near it yesterday afternoon or even into the evening, I think. I probably still would have been <laughs> off the scale. It was like, oh my God, <laughs> really? So... Definitely, I if the commercial team are not onto defibrillator manufacturers and Ramapril <laughs> manufacturers as sponsors for next season, they're missing a trick. Missing a trick. And Miss Jones uh, particularly likes the Ramapril idea. She approves of that completely. Yes. yes. So, Saints, for those of you who haven't been watching, I can't believe... <laughs> You haven't seen something of the game. But for those of you who are on another planet, uh, Saints went 26-0 down. Um, it did feel like we hadn't got off the bus or out the hotel or whatever was going on. It was all a bit sluggish. And um, Chiefs, on the other hand, were flying. They were they were coming. They came flying out the traps. And we were at 1% or 2% off our game. And they were absolutely hunting theirs. Um, and, uh, of course, we'd had some rotation, so Callum Braley was starting his first game, and he looked nervous, bless him. He looked nervous. So, yeah, so 26 nil down, and we snatched it at the death with an, a brilliantly worked try um, scored by Rory Hutchinson. Q mass celebration. Yes. 36-42. Uh, One of the greatest uh, premiership games uh, ever seen, certainly I've ever seen. Um, and made by both teams. Both teams play some stunning rugby. Um, yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. It was it was a good day. It was a good day. So, did you see any of it, Mrs. Saunders? I, I, I did. I was a bit in and out to say like a dog at a fair because where we are, where I'm sitting now is my my workroom, sewing room, whatever. So you know, I can't I can't watch. And that I would have been. Well, it was a heap anyway, but I was in and out of the door like a dog at a fair. Oh, what? Oh, ah, uh. there was a lot of, you know, every emoji going, really. Uh, mm, mm, I'm back in. Um, but I did watch the dying minutes because I just, it was, uh, to say this, this set of lads says never say die is the understatement, you know, whereas, oh, Last season, the season before, we'd have mentally settled for the two losing bonus point and the try bonus point. No, that was not. No, this lot. Well, also, I suspect it's the thought of having to go and face Lee Radford <laughs> and Douse. I should imagine they're quite a formidable double act. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a bit. Um, I mean, Vesty. Yeah. So Ves I... Ve Vesty, yeah, he's not really very frightening, is he, Vesty? I think you know he's a oh, bit. I don't know. He's got a sharp tongue on him when he wants, I to, bet he he wants has. to go for it. He can go... Yeah, but it yeah. wouldn't be the same as actually having to. I mean, Douse, because he has he has the air. I love you, Douse. You know that, but the air of a psychopath sometimes does he not? Especially when he was playing. Oops. So they used to wear a mouth guard that had missing teeth. So he looked like the mad axe murderer as he hurtled towards you. Well, he had that, <laughs> that look on his face as well. It was just like... <laughs> yeah, that sort of wide-eyed, I'm coming yeah. for you. Yeah. Yes. Jack yes. Nicholson in so, The Shining look. <laughs> yes, yes. Fortunately yeah. holding a ball rather than an axe. Yeah, axe. Um, so first half, uh, the first thing, the weather was amazing. Yeah. Um, Yes, there was a stiff breeze because it's never I mean, uh, anyone hasn't been to Sandy Park. Sandy Park is atop a hill, and uh, so there's never not going to be a breeze. But it was not the howling gale that we've experienced in the past. Mm. Um, it was significant, as you could see from the kicking in both halves. It made a big difference to the two teams, but um, it certainly wasn't the Sandy Park 
uh, of of yore. It was the a teeth very of a calm. howling gale. Yeah, yeah. It was a very calm uh, in uh, from what is usually is Sandy Park, and so. When it got to 22 minutes or 24 minutes, what it was, and they got their bonus point, I was thinking, I haven't sent anything upstairs. Well, I sent a couple of really bleh upstairs so that they had something for half time. I was like, what am I going to do? All of a sudden, they perked up and uh, uh, we put on a couple of attacks. Um, and uh, interestingly, Exeter started to panic, which is when the first yellow card happened. Uh, yes. Um, it didn't take much for them to go, oh, these guys are coming back at us. They're supposed to lay down and not come back. Mm. Um, and I think we got confidence from that. I think some of the players who, uh, like Callum, who hadn't played much, got a lot of got a lot of confidence. And I thought Callum took his try really well. I didn't get any photos of it because I had a very, you know, uh, excitable set of saint substitutes in front of me. So you've seen Naffle all game, and then you've got the bums. Of... Like, seriously, guys. You know, I, I love your job. loads, Curtis Langham, but I don't need your bottom facing me and blocking my view. Manny Iogan, <laughs> you're there too. So, yeah, I, I did just about get something, and I hopefully I can share that with Callum. But... Uh, Mm -hmm. Anyway, so uh, so and then when the second one went in, which was a thing of beauty, uh, you know that fantastic chip across midfield. Yeah, uh, Lich took it beautifully. He's our, our Mister Dependable again. You know they chuck yeah. him in this time on the left wing. Yes, and he does the business. Um, and hurtles down beautiful pass, puts Ollie's slights away, Absolutely and we're back gorgeous. fourteen points on the board. And you're thinking. It's on yeah, now. We're in it now. It's on now, yeah. It's on. It's on. And then, and then the incident that started the second half is one that I think we'll talk <clears throat> about for a while, because I didn't see it. I, all I saw was poor Berger lying on the ground in a heap, and they were, were quite concerned about him. Um, and you could see the crowd start to get a bit shuffly because it was being shown on the big screen. Um, I did watch it when we got back. We watched the extended highlights on TNT at 11 o'clock last night when we got home. And that should have been a red card. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what the mitigation was because there wasn't any. It was I a red card. It's off any. the ball. It's unnecessary. <clears throat> it took a player out of the game. Henry Slade, you should be facing a ban. Yes, um, absolutely. You know, absolutely. Don't it, what, uh, I'd love to know what the <clears throat> mitigation was. If it had been a back row it would have been a straight red card without any question at all. The fact it was two backs, I think, is where. And that nice Henry Slade, he's so nice. He wouldn't do that, would he? I don't know. <laughs> sure, it's lovely. It's lovely. I like Henry Slade a lot, but I do feel that was sort of part of the, the thing. You know, the kid at school that always gets away with crap because they look clean and nice. It was a, an element of that, mm -hmm. I felt. But uh, but yeah, yeah it just yeah. seems so. We lost we lost uh, Berger and Henry Slade had ten minute breather. That can't be right, can it? That's no. We did get Dingers on the pitch who instantly oh, did. took the role yeah. of helping. Yeah, and, and instantly you can see took the role. Uh, you know, helping George out, calming everybody down, saying there's time. You could see he was going around everybody, you know, talking to everybody, doing what was needed. You know, it's okay. We've got time. Let's just play our game. Let's concentrate on our game. Yeah. Uh, which we did. And it, some absolutely sublime moves. Just, but, but do Exeter have a right wing defence? Yeah. No. Uh, ben, where were you? Because <laughs> it was obvious what we were going to do. Um, but I didn't care because it was straight down my wing. Um, and more of what uh, happened on photography in a bit. But anyway, so the try, George's try oh. is a thing of beauty because there's just this, they got narrow and narrow and narrow. And then there's just this hole. That was space. And George yeah. sails through it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely yeah. sails through it. Uh, so, yeah, well done, Skipper, uh, <laughs> leading from the front again. And then. Slides goes through again, and you're just thinking, "Hold on, it's on here," 
And then yeah. he goes through again. And you're thinking, yeah. oh, ah. And now, uh, so of course, I am sat at the end and the huddle behind the posts, they all get together and have a cuddle. And the rude words that were coming out the huddle, oh, they got ruder and there were more of them. So <laughs> you could... <laughs> yes, lads, I can hear you. <laughs> so I, yeah, I think the extra team realised, oh, here we go again. And unlike Munster, who didn't stick with it, um, we did. And um, that last try, yes, oh. Hutch could have put Hutch could have put the ball away, but he knew he was going to make the line. You could see it. Yeah, He, he yeah. knew he was going to make the line, gets the ball down, and the whole place goes, well, not the whole place, every Saints supporter in the ground. <laughs> Including me, who was trying to concentrate and taking photographs, but just wanted to go bonkers, uh, went nuts. And the great third greatest comeback was complete. Um, these awesome. guys are just awesome. nuts. They will not give in. And what that says to any team that we play now is yeah. your doesn't matter how far away you are, you are not safe. Yes, we will, we will get you. you. We're we coming to get you. Up. We'll get you. Yeah, yeah. We're coming to get you. I mean, if you think that in two two weeks, we've given 40 points away in the first 10 minutes. So it was 14 against um, whoever it was the week before, Sale. And then, then I'm sorry, I've got a cold. I've got a cold. Uh, And then uh, 26 to Exeter, you know, here's your start. Here's your starter for 26. Now, now we go. Now we're going to come and get you. Yeah. Now we're going to come and get you. Um, so the third greatest comeback, the greatest comeback was that semi-final at Ashton Gate in 2021 when Bristol Bears must have thought they were in the final. But yeah. Quinns had other ideas. And there is a connection yes. between that game yesterday and the game... Um, that game in 2021? And the answer is, for our all you manager. statos out there, Lizzie Good, <laughs> our team manager, Lizzie Goodchild, who probably told me, yep, I was there. She said, it's only the second for me, greatest comeback. I was there for the 28 nil, which is extraordinary. So, yeah. um, yes. Yeah. But it shows that what an amazing game it was. Um, Just yeah, awesome. Absolutely. Um, and a and, uh, uh, year of little faith, Dr. Jones, because I got the text message on the family, you know, family eye message. We're going to get monstered if we keep playing like this. And he was right. In one sense, we would have been monstered. <laughs> yes. Well, I had a um, similar a yeah. similar husband going, oh, my God, it's dreadful. And I actually said, <laughs> I don't know whether I was reassuring him or myself. And I kept saying, no, 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 it'll be fine. It, it'll, be, it'll be all right. And look at the bench. It'll be fine. And we, as it was, by the yeah. time the bench came on, we were in touch. And I knew that as long as we could stay or get, I say stay, get in touch, once that bench came on, it was, uh, we were unlivable with really. So, yeah. 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 So they thought they'd won it. Uh, was it to Ema? Um, scored a beautiful try. Yeah. The handling in that try. Oh. I, even I could see because it was straight down the channel I was looking at. That was a thing of beauty. Yeah, uh, and um, would have been worthy to win the game, but we had other ideas. Um, and one thing I'd like to say is to con- congratulate everybody who was at the game yesterday. Yes, uh, the atmosphere was brilliant. Great singing from both sets of supporters. As I said last week, I love a game where you've got a mixture of home and away supporters. It makes a huge difference. Well done, all the Saints supporters who travelled down to Devon. Yeah, we could hear you on the the telly. There's always troubles with the trains. Which was remarkable given the the microphones they had on the telly because they were a bit crap. Anyway, Um, yeah, so I was enjoying the community singing. There was a bit of singing competition going on, certainly in the first half. Um, Yeah. So each side adjusting the songs of the other side uh, in a nice way, not in a nice yeah. way. Excellent. But yeah, no, it was really, really good atmosphere. La- equivalent last year, I seem to remember there were only 8,000 people at that game. 
oh. over 14,000. Oh, that's brilliant. So, uh, you know, rugby rugby in the southwest is also on the up, which we need. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're playing a brand of rugby, which is fun to watch. And until yesterday, it had been an awfully long time since they've watched their side Six, lose. 63 um, weeks. And we do seem to like breaking. Yeah, we do seem to like breaking people's records this season, which is, you know, which is fun. Glasgow, Exeter. (laughs) Length and breadth of the country we'll go to to break break people's hearts. Yeah, or just or just put them in a severe risk of cardiac arrest, of course. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, everybody afterwards was saying heart rate. We were all our heart rates were off. I mean, what? I mean, I hate to think what George Hendy was, you know, if he thought it was 10 times worse, you know. Yeah, oh, poor boy. Heart yeah. rate yesterday must have been off the scale. Poor oh, boy, he must have melted. Um, yeah, my heart rate was still going long after the final whistle. Yeah. Um, because you yeah. kept having flashbacks of what had yeah. happened. It was, um, yeah, it was a magnificent <laughs> match to watch and a magnificent match to be there. Um, 10 from 10 for the skipper, yes. which I told him. Yeah, that is impressive. Yeah. Impressive. That is I, 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 actually that was that was something I said to Lizzie. Is that, uh, Liz Tyler has that ever been done before? And she, I'd love to look at the records on that one. Yeah, um, yeah. Because you know, a hundred percent record as captain is for ten not ten easy games. games. It's oh. not as if they were you know, they're ten absolutely monster games. Yeah. Um, that he's he's won as captain. So uh, well done, George. Who again? You know what? George is that kid gloves captain. Have you noticed? So with the Burger Odendal Henry Slade incident, he just quietly goes and has a chat with Mr. Yes. Woodthorpe. And then off we he is he's just calm. Do you know so he where reminds, some he reminds me of Sergeant Major. Sergeant Sergeant Wilson, actually. I'm terribly sorry. Sergeant do, Wilson. Do, yes. Do, do you Tell mind you awfully do you, do you having... Have... Do you think you could just possibly, if it's not too much trouble, have a look at that, do you think? Do you oh, think... yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Yes, rather yeah, than yeah, ranting course, and George. raving yeah, and shouting. Yeah. Oh, yes, George, yes. Seeing as he asks so nicely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you kindly. He does. He does. He asks very nicely. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, George, well done. Top worker, Skipper. Yeah. Um, when they came, so one of the things that struck me is it was a heavily, I'm going to say heavily, but that's not, that, that is rude to the players who are out there. There was some rotation, let's yes. put it that way, yes. in the squad. But well, I kept, I, it had a look, that team had a look of the team that went to Glasgow. Yes, yes. Sam Graham, <laughs> Angus Scott Young. Yeah. Tom Pearson coming on in the second half. And so, you know, I was I was surprised when I saw the team sheet. And then I thought, oh, actually, he's playing it like he played the Glasgow game. Glasgow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and having faith in this squad is doing him a power of good as coach because it means he can rotate. They're winning big games as a squad. They're not just winning big games with the same 15. Same 15, yes. So we're not yeah. going to do what... Yeah, we're not going to do the 2011 Jim Mallander run him into the ground routine yeah. so they don't yeah. make it through a Heineken Cup final. Uh, he is, and he, he, in post-match interview, he was honest and said, no, I am managing people's managed minutes. minutes. So, you know, yeah. Courtney wasn't there yesterday. He was resting his bins because he's been a bit yeah. busy. Um, yeah, so, you know, your Chunyas, your Angus Scott Youngs, your Alex Coles, who looked like his face had, had a tube map drawn on it oh, by dear. the end of the game. A bit of a mess, yes. Um, Tarek, Tarek Hafar made his premiership debut yesterday, age 22. Who's he replaced by? Manny Iogan. Shall I look at the little bit of paper? Look at the list, yes. uh, 23. Oh, that old man, 23. (laughs) Yes. But it was such a young Exeter team. (laughs) You got you went straight there, didn't you? I did. I, you I went can't. straight there. I had to. I had to. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's deal with so, that okay, now. Well, <clears throat> let's, let's deal, deal with, with it. Your the narrative thing. about Exeter. <laughs> yeah, well, and TNT. So the narrative yeah. from TNT for the past few weeks, 
fed by one Rob Baxter, who's a wily old so-so. <laughs> He's been around the block a few times. Is that I've got a young team. I'm bringing them through. They're learning. You know, if we don't win, they're learning. We're having a group huggle. It's okay. We've got lessons. No, no, no. So it struck me yesterday, and then it was repeated. So yes. clearly, Mr. Stephen Jones, you are not at Sandy Park. So why your employers are getting you to try and write a match report so in a place you that you weren't? Yeah. You were in Leicestershire at Welford Road at the roundabout. Yeah. So yeah. please don't write match reports when you've got no flipping idea what's going on. But you've drunk the Baxter Kool Aid. <laughs> we have a bit of paper here. Yeah, we we have we no. have our stato has been on it. Yes, our stato. I started it this morning, uh, prompted by a question on the Saint Sinners. Thank you. Uh, sorry, to the gentleman whose name I, I've forgotten already. And that's very rude of me. But he asked very, he asked the question that was in my head. Yeah, uh, which was, you know, this is nonsense. So what we did was we've compared the match day fifteen and the match day twenty three, and we've looked at what's going on. So. Starting 15, average age of the Saints team? 25.6. I'm going to guess. Oh, yours. <laughs> no, so Dr. Jones has checked my maths and it was out by 0.1. 25.7. Oh. oh, well, there you are. Terribly right. old. Yes. Yep. Terribly old. So uh, starting 15 for Exeter? 25 point slightly less than 7. Well done, twenty five point one. <laughs> so this massively young team, yeah, uh, yeah, right. Nonsense. So, <laughs> so then, then Tim wisely, because you know, it's, he did the head to head thing, as in, uh, who's the youngest of the two teams? Yeah. Six of our team were younger than Exeter. So if you do head to head, yeah, yeah, nine yeah. of theirs were younger. So okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but when you've got some of the nines, uh, let's have a look. Uh, you know, Tom Pearson at twenty-four, he was facing somebody's twenty-one. So we're not talking thirty-year-old playing nineteen-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Um, Alex Coles is twenty-four. The man he was facing is twenty-six. So yeah. you know, you, Trevor Davison. Trevor Davison at thirty-one was facing Josh Isafer Scott, who's twenty-seven. So not, you know, not both a huge experienced difference. players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we Sam had at thirty-one. He's facing, he's facing Jack Yendel, who's thirty-four. Thirty-four. Yes. Oh, that must have been yeah. interesting. And then, of course. Oh, that's. Oh, it was. There was a bit yeah. of chat going on. There. Yeah, I can imagine that. Man of Cornwall versus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there were a few words. Yes. Yeah. Tarek. Right. Tarek Afar, 22, facing Nick Abeladze, 28. Well, there you go. And who is Tarek replaced by? That old man, Manny Ayogan, Manny. as we said earlier, 23. So, uh, so Baxter, you've done it. played a blinder, my friend. Anyway, we look at the 23, because we've got to go, we've got to conclude the bench in this. Yeah. What happens then? Well, the match day 23. It takes it down on our side to 25.5 yeah. 25.7. And on their side to 24.8. But again, it's not massively, you know, it's it's a different. It's less than a year. Yeah. 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 So and I think Baxter has to do this because he's trying to rebuild. We, on the yes. other hand, and if you talk to any of our Guys are saying, "No, we've we're fed up with the youngster tag. We we don't yeah. want that anymore. Yeah, we, we we're no, we want to. We've we're do, we're done with that. We're a team but now. TNT, start looking at the maths because it doesn't hang out. It does not hang together. This script of Baxter has a really young team. The plucky I mean, yeah, youngsters. Absolutely. Their skipper. The plucky youngsters. Their skipper's twenty one, but he was facing a guy who's twenty three. And shouldn't you? So, <laughs> yeah, can we stop? Can we please stop with the um, with the nonsense over this young extra team? Yeah, um, yeah. Not I think the problem, the problem, um, the problem. Uh, if I say the, oh, yeah. if I say the problem, it's because our guys have been around for because they were blooded so young under Boydie. They yeah. TNT who haven't don't do that. 
due diligence, obviously, think that they must be older. But, you know, you think of Dingers, 24. I mean, I'm amazed he's only 24 because he Mm. seems to have been playing for so long. But that's, I think that's why they're getting their, in their heads, they think this Exeter side is young because we haven't heard of them. But actually, you know, when you look at the the facts, they're, they're just wrong. But that's TNT for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, fair dues to them. They are trying some stuff. Yes. Uh, and But I just, just don't fall for the narrative, boys. Do your own yeah. research because... There's more to these stories in the yeah. in the Premiership, um, and there are a lot of teams who are now playing. I mean, young English talent, uh, you know, is is coming through, and that's what we should be applauding. That's that's the story, um, but we get caught up in these narratives about Welsh doctors who may or may not play. For, I mean, he's a fabulous player. Scored a great try yesterday, uh, and he's got a fantastic smile. My God, he's got a lovely <laughs> smile. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see if he does play for Wales, if he plays oh, for um, England, plays for England. Yeah. Um, but but the na- don't always follow follow the narrative because as we've just proved, it doesn't fit. Um, we do need. Oh, actually, I've got a shout out before we do uh, talk, pick our oh, yes. player of the match. As I was saying, the, support, the supporters yesterday were absolutely delightful. Um, uh, Lovely to see so many Saints supporters there. The players absolutely appreciated it, which is why they spent so long going around the ground, talking to people, having their selfies and all the rest of it. Um, But uh, on the way back on the bus to the car park where uh, Exeter have us park, uh, we were in the VIP car park. I don't know what's VIP about it. Anyway, we were in the VIP car park. You get a bus, I think. (laughs) We get a bus. We have to walk. Um, and uh, a lovely chap who t- uh, engaged us in conversation and um, congratulated us on the win. Had a really good chat with him. Um, he is going to watch Exeter Chiefs women today. I don't know who they're playing. I've forgotten. Sorry. But he is clearly an enthusiast for Exeter rugby. Um, loves watching the game. Loves to see um, how things are changing. He absolutely loved yesterday's game. Hated the result. Yes. But said that's an advert for Premiership rugby, and so you know, thank you, kind sir. Uh, shook your hand, wished you well. Hope you have a good Lovely. day today. Not too good because no one exits to run away with it. Um, although we do need somebody to go after Gloucester, Gloucester Hartbury. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, <laughs> they were a lovely set of supporters, um, and uh, I know Dr. Jones had fun bounce on the terrace at the far end from where I was sitting in the second half. Um, if ever he was at the wrong end. He was at the wrong end. Anyway, more of being at the wrong end shortly. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think the atmosphere yesterday was worthy That's of the good. game. I think the supporters on both sides should be rightly proud of themselves. It was, it was loud. It was raucous. It was partisan. It was everything that you want from a crowd. So, uh, That's so thank good you to everybody, all fourteen thousand of you who were there. I have, yesterday. I was going to say, I have been at Exeter when it's been slightly less than pleasant with some of their supporters when they were when they were doing really you know it's the usual thing isn't it the glory hunters we had them tigers had them an extra who don't seem to understand that you know like your chap in the car park and we've done that as saint supporters who've come away and gone well that was an amazing game of rugby not happy with the result but hey that's you can't take anything away from the side that's just beaten us yeah. But there, yeah. uh, there are some so, people who yeah. can't think like yeah. that. But, yeah, excellent. No, good, absolutely. Good. Absolutely. Yes. Um, <laughs> and uh, player of the match. Right. So, Mr. Slighthome. <laughs> yeah. I did. John, John Slighthome, you are, you are such a star. Wow. He's, He's smiling. smiling. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw that. I melted it up. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yes, well, you know, that's the same Ollie Slightham whose brother looked at him and said, you will smile on my debut photo <laughs> yes. because it's my debut. <laughs> John looks at me and went, I'm not getting involved. Anyway, yes, so I do miss the two brothers bickering. Anyway, right, yeah. yes, so player of the match. Well, I'm... I, I have got... 
some well two people in mind for two different reasons i'm th- ferbs because he captains so well and just kept calm and just ran everything and you know, just the way he manages that team is just a, a prime example of how to be a manager you know he knows he knows who needs stick he knows who needs carrot and it's just wonderful to see or Mooney just for doing Mooney stuff and getting in the way and generally disrupting things legally and disruptively. So I don't know, really. Um, what do you think? Have you anybody I'm else asked. to add? Uh, well, I mean, Mr. Slighthome obviously was chosen. Yeah, but he, he got it. The bite for, he got, yeah, got yeah. the big one. Doesn't need us. He got the big one. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I think Ferbs. I think Ferbs. Um, because, as you say, he didn't panic. He kept going. Uh, he got his team. Uh, you know, he'd have a chat with them. It's a long way to run from mm. fullbacks to go and have a chat with your pack. But he made That's... sure that his pack knew. He kept them calm. They played to the process. Yes. He, you know, created something out of nothing with that um, you know, you know, Litchfield break down the uh, left wing. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, consistently... Yeah. He yeah. scored a beautiful try himself. Yes. Consistently, he's leading from the front. He's leading by example. So I would ten say, out of ten out of ten. You know, ten out of ten. You can't go wrong, really. <laughs> uh, so I would say that the ladies' what pod player of the match for me would be George Furbeck. Would be Furbs. With an honourable mention to Mooney, just for being... Oh, absolutely. <laughs> top getting in the way. Oh. Absolutely top getting in the way. Just, you know... A complete Dino, as we, we, you know, large animal, small brain. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Mooney, but I am married to a lock, yeah, <laughs> whose sole yeah. job was getting in the way, and you yeah, have yeah. taken it to an art form. He yes. has, he has, yes, he's do, he, he's doing getting in the way brilliantly, I think, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and some of the tackles he was putting in. Were oh. Just, oh, he's, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> you know, we worry about Courtney leaving and then i look at mooney and i'm thinking i don't know why we're worrying really again yeah, how and old tommy lockett and tommy lockett last week at bedford yeah. with that ridiculous tackle into yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 they're, um, they're learning from the master aren't they they're learning they have well. learned they're learning from the master courts is is, is leaving a legacy of, yeah 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 brilliant brilliant uh so photography corner if yes, ever there was an example Oh, you lot being entirely the wrong end in the second half yesterday was it. <laughs> so, first half, there was a, it, people at both ends. Yeah. And I was a bit surprised there were so many at my end because we were shooting into the sun. In fact, uh, uh-huh. one of the guys from PA took a beautiful silhouette. I think it's Mooney, actually, who's receiving the ball. A silhouette of a line out into the sunset. So, yeah, it's all very arty. Um. So I trundled down, you know, down the other end for the second half. And then after, I think it was after George's, which is the first try. I've lost, it's just a blur. We'd scored our first try in the second half. Uh, Brayley. Cal Brayley scored the first one, didn't he? That was in the first half. This is the oh, second the half second I'm talking half. about. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I don't it, know. Is it slides? Oh, whatever it was. Anyway, it was after the first. It was slides. It was slides. Slides. And I yeah. look along. And it's like, well, I can see, I can see t- two TV cameramen, but where's everybody else? And they were all, uh, all at up the, the other, other end. end. Oh, so all the photos, ladies and gentlemen, that you are seeing of pictures of Mr. Slighthome and Mr. Furbank and whoever, they're all from the first half. The only person who took photographs of all the tries in the winning moment was you. Me. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Uh, you know, and I got, I got some absolute perlers. They aimed for the hat. They were obviously listening to us. Uh, actually, we should shout out to everybody who is listening to us. Our viewing figures last week were fantastic. So yes. thank you to everybody. Yes, thank you. And we really, really do appreciate it. We, d- we love know, it. We really do appreciate it. We love it, and uh, you know the feedback's fantastic. But um, yeah, so I, would you like? I was would you like? To, would you like to tell us why you didn't get such good ones of uh, Mr. Braley's first try? Would you like to explain what happened? <laughs> well, uh, yes, I, I did. As I did earlier, I had um, Manny Iogan 
and uh, Curtis Langdon's bum. Uh, I'm sure they're beautiful bottoms, but they were, you know, in their <laughs> coats, stood in front of me. It's like, guys, guys, give us a break. I haven't had anything all off. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, and they were very good. They warmed up on the other side. Mind you, if they hadn't have warmed up on the other side in the second half, they would have got rude words because they weren't going to be in front of anybody else because <laughs> no, it's not anybody it. else to be in front of. <laughs> yeah, you'd have known and, it was personal at that point. <laughs> yes. So, and I did have, so I had a fantastic chat with my old friend, Phil Mingo, uh, who is a local photographer, runs um, the uh, Pinnacle Photo Agency, a great bunch. Um. Uh, do a lot of work with Gallagher, do a lot of work with the Premiership, uh, but also do a lot of non... Uh, so they're big Exeter City uh, supporters. So they do a lot of work at Exeter and the racing. And and Phil and I go back years. He's a wonderful character. And he actually, before the game, said, this is what's going to happen, Claire, because I don't do predictions. And he got the game absolutely spot on, right down to us nicking it right at the end. God. So if anyone wants Phil's you know, lottery numbers, I'd give him a call because <laughs> he got the pattern of that game. Absolutely. Oh, you're all right there. You yeah, it's all right. Sound. It's just my ear. You know, it's just this. Oh, it's just, just your ear. It's fallen off. Yeah. Yeah. It's not in right. <laughs> so, so Phil, well done. But you were still at the wrong end. Now, Phil's challenge was he's not allowed to move. Once he's decided an end, oh. he's not allowed to move. And he was doing that stupid otter thing that they have, at, you know, where they chase oh, a yes. bloke in otter, otter yeah. suit. And you can see it's a bloke in an otter suit because you can see his face. I find it slightly creepy. But yes, anyway, yes. It's utterly ridiculous, really. <laughs> utterly ridiculous. And they now have a junior otter. This guy, uh, there's a young young lad who's doing it as well. So Phil had to photograph that, which put him at the wrong end. So anyway. Um, but I have lens envy. I, lens, I, I confess I have lens envy. Lens envy. So for those, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk geekish again. Uh Phil has a 400 a millimeter prime. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, this is really geeky. 400 millimeter prime Z series lens, but it's got a switch that when you flick it, it adds an extender. And so it goes from 400 oh, millimeters what? to 560. It is the most ridiculous thing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this lens is 16,000 pounds. Dr. Jones has just fainted because he's now worried. Uh, it is the Ooh. most remarkable bit of kit. Ooh. Sorry. And he was How much? Well, if I flick this switch, 16,000. I was pounds. going to say, how much? Oh, GL. Pardon me. Bad <laughs> language. I'm sorry. What children GL. watching. <laughs> Crikey. My car barely Crikey. cost that. Yes. Well, that actually cost a bit more, but yeah. Well, yeah, my first house ridiculous piece of kit. My first house didn't <laughs> cost that. No, I'm just very old. <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm still working my way through my photographs. Not much from the first half, as you can imagine. No. Um, but the second half I think we're gonna have fun. And they uh I had the, the misted up lens issue in the changing room because it was A ridiculously hot in there. Yes. Egg. I'm sure they could save a few quid. Um, and B, it was um, quite foggy anyway. So my cold lens going into a, yeah, anyway. And I'm married to a ventilation engineer. Apparently last week's explanation was rubbish. Well, all I can say was oh, okay. I forgot to take my cloth with me. Uh, so I was using my pocket to try and clean my lens. <laughs> rubbish. Anyway, I did get some, uh, Manny and Tarek were not going to be denied singing the Shoe Army song. <laughs> It was straight there, straight off. Brilliant. In fact, everybody was, you know, even Dow said his boot off. Yeah, everybody was ready to go. So Dow did his few words and um, <laughs> and then straight in. The you but pointed, I think, is the. Uh, uh, yes, 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 yes. He, yes. He, he clearly needs to borrow your machine, is all I'm saying. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, fantastic singing. Full arms. I do like, Manny, well done. I do like the full arm with the shoe in the air yes. um, type stuff. Controlling it well, isn't he? There. Ollie Slyome, Ollie Slyome, get your boot off. I did uh, note it. I think he knew he was going to have to go do some interviews and he couldn't be bothered to put his boot. Oh, look, I've got me. You've got a, you've um, got a, a little uh, bubble again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, I think he knew he had to go and do some interviews with Radio Northampton, so he couldn't be bothered to put his boot back on. Well, that doesn't mean to say you can sing the song without a boot off. I'm, I don't know that. No. Well, who am I to no. arbitrate? It's not my stuff. Anyway. Uh, so, again, everybody was in there, uh, with the exception of those who had to go. Oh, I don't know where Curtis had wandered off to. I think he got stuck in the crowd. Uh, but everybody was, was in there, bar Curtis, who was just milling about. Um, and the song was sung with great gusto. So uh, well done. Well done to the team. And I had an absolute blast with the cameras, which is going to keep me very busy throughout the day. Good. Um, there is one photo that I completely missed, which I am going to uh, post when I post uh, later on. Uh, which is Manny Iogan and Angus Scott Young celebrating as George goes over the line. It's a fabulous photo. I don't know how I missed seeing Excellent. it. Excellent. I sent George's dive to the to the desk, so I'm looking forward to publishing that. Um, and I know uh, Mr. Qua likes it because I got the thumbs up when I sent it to him earlier. So yeah, I had an absolute blast with the cameras. It must have been a bit quiet at the other end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shame! What a pity. What a shame. What yeah. a shame. Um, shall we do Media Watch? Yes, let's do a quick Media Watch, shall we? First of all, honourable mention to Lenny Newman, with Graham apparently had to turn his microphone down as uh, Hutch went over for that try. Because he forgot he was a broadcaster oh and was having to act as a, as a <laughs> supporter. Ah, oh, <laughs> So, you know... Lenny, well, never change. Well, never change. <laughs> keeping it real. I can also say, because I'm going to squeak, keeping it real, the two of them in the press room had two lots of sausage and mash. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Two lots of sausage. Yeah, I know it was cold, but <laughs> seriously, guys, two lots of sausage and mash. And Lenny didn't bother with the peas. He went straight <gasps> no to the mash. No greens. No greens. <laughs> No, Graham Graham had a few token peas, but um, yeah, Lenny was straight in there with the sausage. Peeless. Um, so I'm going to have a moan again. I have to, I'm always moaning. What uh -huh. is this with this TNT advert? Oh, yes. At 2024 on TNT. Uh, and would... the only person who gets even a glimpse is, is and we love him dearly, is Bernie. Where's the rest of the... We're top of the... <laughs> Beat, beat Premiership. Yeah, yeah. We've scored some absolutely brilliant tries. We've got, you know, some stunningly brilliant players. And, uh... <clears throat> well, also... If you want TN... an advert... Yeah, TNT, what were you thinking? You know, let's go, let's go to Welford Road <laughs> because that's two really exciting free-running teams playing there and we'll stick... Oh, we'd better do something about this game at Exeter, hadn't we? Belatedly, we'll stick it on the red button. Oh, yeah. That was a shame then. And, uh, hmm. um, I mean, well, the story, of, obviously, with Welford Road is the two World Cup, cap, uh, two World Cup players, Andre Pollard and... Um, yeah. Farrell. Uh, I mean, oh, Farrell. So it wasn't Farrell. That was oh, the yeah, story. Oh, yeah, he was playing, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, then, and, then, and then you... Yeah, and then Farrell, and then of course Farrell, the rumour about him going to Racing, yes, uh, kept the story going. But I no 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 no. Um, Nick Heath did his best yesterday. I didn't get to talk to Nick, which was a bit of a shame because I, oh. I have a lot of time for Nick. Yes, have a lot uh, of time for Nick. Yes, he's a lovely, yeah, kept lovely, us, lovely bloke. Kept and us I going with those quizzes. quizzes. Yeah. And he did, and he did another one on New Year's Eve, which was brilliant, oh, no, absolutely did brilliant. Oh. Live, live from, yeah, live from Tooting from his uh, yes. cocktail bar. Yeah, it was great. Yes, Hoglog and um, oh, Hoglog. Uh, what's it Goose was there. It's all all the old, yeah, all the old favourites. Oh, brilliant. Lord. Yeah, Hog I'd and, forgot and about Jones Hoglog. Didn't do too badly either. Uh, yeah, that was great yeah. fun. In yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You used to end up so, so uh, smashed. Yeah, so <clears throat> yeah. Well, that was the thing, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so sorry to Nick. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to watching the whole match when eventually it appears on Premiership Rugby. Well, it, I was going to uh, say I, I'm, rec I'm recording it. I'm recording it. At, well, it's probably finished as we speak. It was on TNT this morning, so I want to go back and watch it in a yeah. calmer, calmer 
I bet I still won't be. I'll still, I'll still be as wound up. But yeah. <laughs> um, and then last week, I don't know if you know this, Liz, but I had a bit of bants with our colleagues across the pond. Oh, um, right. So the rugby network, the rugby network, <laughs> yes. uh, two old Saints stalwarts, uh, yep. Mr. Will Hooley and Mr. Alex Corbusiero. Yes. Uh, fair dues to them. Uh, they do a podcast, obviously, focusing. Yep. Oh, just, uh, oh, just in uh, case yes. they're watching. Waiting, hello. You know. um, they... <laughs> I bet they sneak a look. Um, they do a really good podcast about uh, focusing on the, obviously, American uh, MLR soon to start <laughs> season. Uh, Will has moved over. I think he's their director of communications. Um, and um, And fair dues to him. And the college scene, so it's really interesting oh, seeing right. uh, how the how the games developing uh, developing. It's worth a, it's worth a listen. It's worth a listen, um, and a watch because they do it they, a bit like us. They do a, a video version as well. But Mr. Will Hooley, oh, <laughs> they did a review. They did a preview. Unlike, um, actually, well done to him for doing a preview. More than happened over here. Yeah, um, they did a preview of the extra uh, Saints game. And I think Will used to play at Exeter. And it oh, I think he did. He, 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 I think he yeah. did. Yeah, rings a bell. He was at us. He was at us. Yeah, he was at us. Uh, and he made his debut in 2014 at Exeter. Ah. Um, so I sent him the team sheet this week of that game. Saints won it 16 17 because he said. His words were, Saints oh, yes. never do well at Sandy yes, Park. I, yes, I, yeah, I saw that. Oh, no, I mean, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. And then he said, he said, well, I have to stir the pot. Well, really, do you? No. Yeah. Actually, Saints have a pretty good record at Sandy Park. Ollie Slighthome has a particularly good record <laughs> at Sandy Park. I remember remembers that. Uh, yes. Kicking the ball off the tee. Yes. Um, incident involving, I'm going to get the wrong Simmons. I think it's Joe. Yeah, um, I think it was Joe. Yes, yeah. when Ollie charged down ch charged down the kick. So actually, uh, so I had a nice little bit of online bants with the two of them. Excellent. Um, but uh, yes, so good luck uh, with their, their, their pod because we need to hear more about what's going on uh, with rugby in the yeah. States, given that they've got the World Cup in 2031. I'm hoping... Uh, when I over when we're over in the summer, that I might manage to sneak a game in. Don't know where, uh? but um, uh, mm. um, so yes, uh, so yes, Mister Hooley. <laughs> words, words yeah. should be eaten, Mister Hooley. I feel <laughs> he did say. Well, we did big up Saints. Yeah, Mister Corby's hero did a good job of bigging up Saints. Yeah. No, actually, Will was very kind. He did. He did say, but um, I think he realises actually our track record is better than you yeah. think, and uh, we kept it going yesterday. So so good. Um, uh, we don't know what Lucky's are going to say about it because right. I haven't no. seen them yet. But we, we'll hopefully we can tomorrow guess. we'll we'll find out. We can guess it be <laughs> full of Stevenage <laughs> Town losing <Well, it> <laughs> to whoever it was yeah. they lost to. Yes, it'll all be about. Main, the giant uh, Maidstone, wasn't it? Maidstone, the giant killers, Maidstone. Giant... I'm thinking, oh, who have they giant killed? Stevenage Town. Okay, <laughs> you say giant. Yeah, uh, it was. The... Yeah. Well, okay. there's 69 places in league position between the two teams. How do I know that? Because I happened to catch a few moments of Radio Five yesterday. <laughs> so anyway, go. good so the luck Guardian to Maidstone. Done a, what's the greatest gap? Oh, Good right. luck to make. No, yeah. uh, yes, Maidstone, yes. Maidstone. Well, men of Kent or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you wanted to talk about a certain referee again. Well, I think I think so. I think we ought to do a Carl Dixon watch. You know, that some, uh, there used to be a Wayne Barnes watch, I think, on Saint Sinners, or someone used to do a Wayne Barnes watch. There was a Greg Barnes Garner watch. watch for a bit. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, there was a Greg so, Garner watch so for a bit as well. Having bemoaned Carl Dixon's woeful performance against for... Yeah, Tigers against Bath, wasn't it? Uh, I thought he did much better on Friday night. I can't even remember who he was. Who was he reffing? Who was playing? It was Sale, Sale versus Sale Bristol, Bristol. Yeah. I'm sorry, I've got a cold. Yeah. My memory a very going... unsale-like performance. A very unsale-like performance. very unsale-like performance from Sale. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, but no, I thought Mr. Dixon, he actually listened to his TMO a couple of times, which was 
a couple of times Hello. more than he has done previously. So, so you know, hats off. I'm being kind. Well done, and long may it continue. That's all I can say. Much improved. Yes. There. Yes. It, yes. Yeah, I think you are being kind, but we'll we'll go with it. I thought Mr. Woodthorpe yesterday had a good game. Yes. You can't, they can't yes. see everything. It was a very tense game. And, it was. Uh, it, you know, it, it 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 was it was you know quite difficult. I think there was one moment when I thought. <clears throat> I was going to say, I think he missed forward passes equally on both sides. If I'm honest. I think there were, you know, we got away with yeah. a couple and they certainly did as well. So, you know. And I, well, we it's can't... the movement of the hands they keep talking about now. Yeah. This hand yeah. movement thing seems to be their get out of jail card. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, the, there was one moment where he absolutely was spot on and I was hopeless, which is where I thought um, Henry Slade had battered the ball into touch. Oh, he yes. hadn't. He's head, headed it. Head touch. <laughs> Joe right, Marler scored right at the very heading. Ending, which meant... Yes, yeah. Yeah. And he looked a bit confused as a result. Um, yeah. How do I know? Because I've got the photographs of him looking yeah. like he's got little birds. Ex <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. What happened there? So, uh, yeah. So, uh, well done, Mr. Woodthorpe and the uh, and the team. And we had Rosie as the TMO. Again, um, yes. So, again, yeah. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, contract news. So after we we podded this week, we've had some fabulous, you know, yes. fabulous uh, contract news. Starting off with Tom James. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mr. De Mr. Dependable. Mr. Yeah. Dependable. Uh, who probably will be back next week. I will be very surprised not to see him. Yes. Either start featuring. or you know, yeah. featuring in the Bayonne game. Um. And yeah, he's another one, as you said last week, man from the championship, Doncaster yeah. Knights. Yeah. Come an unusual route. Yes. And has you know, never let us down. Never let us down. Works his socks off. Uh, is that nuggety, aggressive, annoying scrum half that sometimes you want? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 So, uh, so uh, <laughs> congratulations. Well, well done, Tom. And we're really chuffed that you're staying with us. Yes. And then, uh, Captain Fantastic himself. Ferbs. Ferbs. Now, you see, I, I had a little bit of a choice here when it came to writing my little celebratory uh, well done uh, to Ferbs for getting a new contract because I could have put a photograph of him playing for Huntingdon Stags, aged 12. Um, but I thought, well, no, it's Saints related. So instead of which, I put a photograph of him scoring his first Saints try. At wait for it, Sandy Park, wearing oh, yes, probably right. one of the most one of the most hideous away kits yeah. that we've had. What one of my friends called the Sunny Delight kit. Yes, um, when <laughs> the opposition were playing in pink, it was not a good look. Uh, right? yeah. Oh, yes, it's horrible. Yes, uh, Exeter had a, a cup kit which was fluorescent pink. Oh, horrible. Yes, so he scored his try. I think he injured himself in scoring it. So, uh, but it's... <laughs> anyway, Captain Fantastic. It's brilliant that um, not a surprise. I'd have been amazed if he'd gone anywhere else. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, brilliantly staying. And then we ended the week. What did we did we not have a dingers? We know we talked about dingers. We did talk about dingers. Yes, so we ended the week with uh, with just the best scrum half. On the planet, I think. Alex Mitchell. Yeah. Alex Mitchell. Uh, yeah. His game management is just <sighs> off the scale now. Off the scale. And he, the thing he, England have, uh, he, he can now get us out of trouble with some most amazing yes. kicks off the park. The yes. distance he gets is yeah. just ridiculous. And consistently um, not... now. He could do it occasionally before, but the consistency yeah. now is uh, is amazing. It really much as we hated having have hated seeing him having to play the England way and not his own way, it has given him another uh, arrow to his to his armour. I mean it's just oh that was a mixed metaphor, wasn't it? But and... <laughs> I've got a cold. It... Here's one in the eye for Mitch. No, we don't want that. No, no. You know what I mean. 
<laughs> anyway, but no, I was so happy that he signed, re-signed. I've just, <clears throat> with a bit of name dropping here, when he came from the Sale Academy, Dusty Hare told me he will play for England one day. He's absolutely marvellous. And I, I told Mitch, and I don't think Mitch believed me at the tender age of 18 or wherever he was, but who was right? Dusty and, and me. So, yeah. Lovely, lovely player to watch. Lovely chap as well, I have to say. Really lovely chap. Really lovely chap. Big hug yesterday. Yeah. Um, as I did from Ferbs as well. Um, yeah. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful player. And uh, he's he's learnt so much under the tutelage of Sam Vesti. You can see yes. his game. Yes. Yeah. He's, and uh, and the partnership, as as we said last week, the partnership with Finn Smith is just a joy. Just a joy to behold. Finn again beyond his years, his years yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He just did not panic. He put in some stonking tackles. Yeah, he, you know, we just kept just kept things moving. It is, you know, but the lovely thing about the Saints back line is we can create from fifteen, we can create from nine, we can create from ten. Um, even you know the centres get involved as well. So yeah. oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, although Alex Coles kicking for touch. Yeah, don't, what? <laughs> don't do it, love. Just don't do it. <laughs> it was was the comedy moment of the game. Don't <laughs> do it. Do not do it. <laughs> think of the um, old people. Think of the old think people. Think of the old people. Absolutely. Particularly old photographers. Yes. <laughs> oh, dear God. Um, Saint Supporters Club. Uh, uh, well done. Yeah. Lots of Saint Supporters down there and lots of Saint Supporters Club members. I bumped into a few of them who were good, good. Um who were there uh, who were there, yes, clearly enjoying themselves. Yes. We uh Saint Supporters Club where we've uh, we've we've had a we had our big meeting last week discussing Oh yes, you, you know, said you were going to. Yeah, yeah, what what we're going to do and what we we are aiming to try and do something special for the Quinns away game. Uh can't really say much else at the moment, but that's there's a hopefully something really special coming for there. So if you want to be part of it and get your, your coach ticket slightly cheaper, join the club. It's not very much. And, oh, there you go. Uh, and yeah, and then there's various other plans that we have in place, but certainly the, the Quinns Excellent. away game is one we, we want to do something because we know when that is. The Bristol game might yet be on a Friday night, but we know that that Quinn's game at Twickenham is going to be on the Saturday, so we can aim for that. So yeah, yes, we yes. will be running. Absolutely. We will be running Absolutely. coaches. Hopefully, hopefully, coaches plural. Coaches plural would be lovely, but certainly, um, yeah, would be lovely. Well, it was great to see so many sports there yesterday, and so many. Members of the Saints Supporters Club, an old friend, Chris Hoddle, who's travelled. Oh, he yeah. is a long journey from the northwest. Yeah. I bumped into yeah. him. Yeah, uh, he looked like a man who was, who'd enjoyed himself. So uh, well done, Chris. Lovely to see you again. I was looking for Doctor Jones and failing to find him, um, <laughs> but who kindly was looking after my gear while I went wandering into the uh, into the changing room. Um, walking rugby, you were saying, is back. Oh Liz. yes, we started walking rugby on Thursday night, and. Uh, uh, Jamie took us because uh, Callum was doing something else. So Jamie put us through our paces a little more, but great fun. Um, so <coughs> sign up, come along, look on the Saints website, 7.50 a session, and you will have um, not quite aching today, but yes, you will You will have a workout and a good laugh. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. So Excellent. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. No, it does. It does sound. It does sound great fun. Um, and uh, Loughborough, we have to mention quickly. Loughborough, oh, who yes. did travel to the champions, uh, put up a good fight, but unfortunately, the champions came out on top. Um, I think Gloucester are looking good for the. Uh, they are uh, already yeah. are looking really looking good. I think good. it's going to be yeah. uh, a tough battle, but. Uh, Keep going, ladies, uh, and hopefully I'll catch up with you soon because I'm yes. better than not seeing you. Um, so, and then, so the Premiership takes a break. It does. Till. Um, it does. 
27th. Uh, for a couple of weeks while yeah. we go into the second half of the Investec Champions Cup group games. Yes. Yeah. And Bayon, Bayon are on their way. That'll be the Bay that'll be the Bayon that um uh, last week beat Racing. Yes. So so they they they're quite capable of surprising folks. Um so, you know, it'll be a good game. They like to play a good brand of rugby. Uh, they certainly gave Munster a run for their money at uh, Toman Park. So take them lightly at your peril, Saints. Um, no. I'm sure they won't. Yeah, I'm sure they won't. <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward. I'm yeah. really looking forward to seeing which team comes out on Friday. I think yes. it's going to be Friday Night Lights. Yeah. I think yeah. it's going to be an absolute belter of a game. If we just carry on doing what um, we're doing, no one can live with us. No one can live with us. Well, if we can skip the going 14 nil and 26 nil behind bit, that would be nice. If only for your little machine, so it's battery lasts a bit longer. Part of the plan, apparently. It's lull them into thinking they've won already, and then bang, in we go. Don't think... Uh, oh. <laughs> no, so, yeah, can't wait. Really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. We love, we love um, Friday Night Lights as um, well. We do love Friday night lights, and then it's it's off to Limerick. Uh, but oh, I'm sure yes. we'll talk about that after the yeah. uh, after after the Bayon game. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, no Blues game this week; they had a week off. Yeah. So uh, who have they got it next week? And Toaster Under oh, Nines. Complicated question. Sorry, Toaster Under Nines have been playing this morning, and <laughs> I didn't go, so I will we'll update you with them next week. Oh, excuse Excellent. me. Excellent. Excellent. I have a cold. Oh, just to prove she's got a cold. Yeah. I have a cold. <laughs> For those of you just listening to the audio. I sneezed horribly there. <laughs> Sorry about that. She Sorry. sneezed horribly. I did try and move um, out of my she... phone range, but yeah. <laughs> it didn't work. But it all adds to the fun. Yes. Um, so uh, <clears throat> I am very tired. I don't notice the bags underneath my eyes. I'm not uh, so surprised. I've been working on my photos the rest of the day. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, and I have to say thank you to my lovely husband, Tim, who yet again, 14 Sherpa. hours we were out yesterday. He drove all the way there. Sherpa, oh. Sherpa one, drove all the way there and all the way back again while I was tappity taps on the old computer. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it was a, a grand <laughs> day out. Um, I would imagine that drive home. One for the memory bank. I was going to say that drive home was a lot better than it might have been if, uh, if, if, if Hutch had yeah, not they would... snuck in at the end, yeah. Yes, if if it, if it was the other way around, it would have been yeah a, yeah. a, a sad a sad car home. Yeah. Uh, instead of which, it was a well uh, poor poor Doctor Jones. His head was still fizzing like all of us uh, yes. at the end. It was yeah. um, brilliant. We were all slightly shell shocked, but uh, shell shocked in a good way. In a yes, in a very for good once. way. <laughs> so that's lady for once. Well, actually, not once. It keeps no, happening. it's not. It uh, keeps happening. So that's ladies. What... Yeah, yeah. Ladies, what pod episode nine done dusted? Thank you. Thank all. you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, and look forward to catching up with many of you next Friday. Mm -hmm. Come and say hello. Next and, uh, Friday. Next Friday. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And Come and I, say I, hello I and uh, subscribe. Don't, yes. don't, don't forget to subscribe, make nice comments. Subscribe, ask us any questions, any questions you want, whether it's about fabric, gnomes, anything. <laughs> Sewing corner. Yes. Yeah, lens yeah. corner. Yes. I yes. did actually have somebody ask me yesterday, uh, one of my mates in the States asked me which, asked me a really geeky question about what settings I was using when I took the try of Hutch. So, yeah. Yes. So I saw that. That's fun. Brilliant. Lovely. Thank you so much, yep. Claire. And I'll see you on Friday as well. Thank you, everybody. All right. See you. Yeah, Bye for more now, fun everybody. And yeah. Bye.